And then spiritually, the Lord brought Bishop Brazier into my life. For me and thousands and others, he was in line with the heroes and heroines of faith that we find in Hebrews, the 11th chapter. Abraham, I want you to catch this as I end. Abraham, and this is, I'm calling this a, a faith baton. Abraham had to pass the faith down to Isaac. Isaac had to pass it down to Jacob. Moses had to pass it down to Joshua. Rahab had to pass it down. David had to pass it down. Deborah had to pass it down. And ultimately, Arthur Embrasure. Oh, I could have went through the other ones. I've been to school. Polycarp, Origin, Tertullian. Oh, I know them. But I'm just bringing it to modern times. At his funeral, me and the other leaders like Bishop Brazier's son, Byron, and, and other leaders like Dr. Horace Smith, we said, we got the baton now. And we're not going to bring you any shame. And I thank God for the excellent job that Dr. Brazier has been doing. It ain't easy to step into those kind of shoes. And we are all still in relationship with one another, bonded together by that one mentor. But however, the time is going to come. The Lord told me right now, I ain't about to retire. But the time is going to come when I'm going to have to pass the baton down to the next generations here at Victory. I'm going to have to give it up. And like he's running, I can't run like that no more. But at some point, it has to be passed on. And I thank God that the same Jesus that was with Bishop Brazier, the same Jesus has been with me. Give you my final.